Hello, welcome back by part 3 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content sent to your 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In the previous tutorial we have finished our object class and the next thing we're gonna do is create the object list. So go to project add class and we call this items.cs and now we're gonna copy this using block and use it in the items. And what we're gonna do here in the items class is build the object list. So public static list and we're gonna create an object list and we call it OBG list. Let's create a new one. lists with all the objects right and there's one thing more what you need here and that's a function so public static void initialize and we leave it empty for now and later we come back here and the first thing we're gonna do is initialize it in the game. So go to the initialize in the games file and we're gonna do here on items dot initialize. So initialize all the objects. And with it done, we can go to the load content method. And we're gonna do here and for each object oh in items dot opg lists and we do then an o dot load content load all content for the objects and we can do the same now in the updates method let's remove this line we're gonna need it and for each objects or in items that object lists oh that update and game time right all objects that's it for now and the latest thing we're gonna do here it's for the draw for its which you owe in oh draw Okay. Draw all the objects on the screen. Right. And with this setup now, 
Egon finally start thinking about the game we want to build. That's the Pac-Man game. And so let's build a Pac-Man class. Go to Project, Add Class, and we call it Pac-Man. And again, we can copy this block. Copy. And hide it. And now we need the Pac-Man constructor. Uh, public Pac-Man. And now we're going to need a variable position. It's a factor to position. And another. And it's a string. And we call that the texture name and with this constructor the position of the Pac-Man the texture name of the Pac-Man and what we're gonna do we have two choices to put the position to the base class we're gonna use and the base class is of course the object class we're gonna derive from the object class and I think we're gonna need in the object class an empty constructor. So let's do that. Public OBG. I think that's it. Yep. They like it this way. Alright. There are two ways to put the position of the Pac-Man and pass it to the base class. We're gonna do it this way. I put it base position, but I like it to do it another way. And let's set the texture name. Um, texture name is texture name. Set the texture name. Another thing we're going to do is the position. Set the position of the Pac-Man. Position is pos. And of course, is alive is true. Set is alive flag default on true and with this constructor we are already done with the Pac-Man class for so far um, we don't need an update at the moment we don't need a load content at the moment because the object class do the work for us and we don't need to draw methods uh, again the object class do the job for us. So what we're gonna do now is go to the items class and let's add a new Pac-Man and let's create first a variable public static Pac-Man and we call it Pac-Man and so 
So public variable so put it out of the way and now here initialize the objects and here now we can do the job and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add the Pac-Man to the object list. So object list dot add and what we're gonna add a Pac-Man. So Pac-Man is new Pac-Man and he needs a vector to draw. So let's put it on, let's say, uh, 450. Of course, we need a new factor. And now we need a texture. And if you have buy the contents, you have already the content on your PC. So go to your folder, unzip the content, and you have two directories, sprites and sounds. Go to the sprites directory, and we're going to look at for the Pac-Man 1, this file. And we're going to copy this file to our sprites. Now we have a Pac-Man 1 PNG. So let's put it here. Pac-Man 1. And we need one more close brackets. Alright. And if it's all right now, we can run it and Pac-Man is on the screen. Well, it takes time to load because the screen capture. We have an error. Of course, I forget something in the game class. And what I forget to do here is a sprite bats begin, and after that. Sprite bats dot end, and now we have a Pac Man on the screen. Wow, let's put it a little higher. This means go to the items, the I class. Let's put it on 250 also. That's nice. Okay. Wow! In the next tutorial, we're gonna build um, a coast class, and we let uh, Pac-Man walk. Okay. So for now, I hope you enjoy, and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.